Several months back, I attended a talk about a new cosmic DE from System76 in Linux Fest Southwest. I was intrigued about the new desktop, so let's see what is the current status of it and if I can play games on it. To prepare this video, I installed Pop OS 2204 on my two PC systems. The desktop which has a single NVIDIA GPU inside and the ASUS G14 laptop which has NVIDIA AMD dual GPU. I start by setting up Cosmic on my single GPU desktop PC. Installing it on Pop! OS is not hard. I follow this GitHub page. First, enable WLAN and reboot. Then, update UDEV rules for NVIDIA and restart GDM. Finally, install the Cosmic Session package. Although it didn't mention in a GitHub doc, there is a step for users to choose the Display Manager, and I chose the Cosmic Grader here. After a reboot, I was able to see the Cosmic Grader, which looks quite different and prettier than the default GDM3. I was able to use it to boot into Cosmic. With the 4K monitor, I enabled the display scaling in the settings before start using it. One thing I noticed is that even though I only have one monitor connected to my PC, the setting shows two. There is an unknown external display inside a Cosmic setting display session, which I can move floating windows to. I didn't know what it was for, and after disabling it, I can no longer log into Cosmic Session from Cosmic Grader anymore. Even rebooting didn't help. I'm getting some Cosmic Comp related error. To solve this, I logged into the GNOME Session and switched the Display Manager back to GDM3. Then Cosmic is able to launch properly. It seems like a bug for their new Display Manager. The other thing I'd like to report is that Cosmic is using WLAN Compositor by default. So when I first logged into it, I had some flickering issue. And the Vivaldi browser installed by Flattag will have some serious display issues from time to time. You can see in this screenshot, the empty blue frame is where the Vivaldi browser should be, but the content of the application won't show up with minimizing or maximizing the window. And I can't force the browser to quit from the app launcher at the bottom of the screen. Given Vivaldi has a small market share in our community, I gave Firefox a try for several days, which is working as expected. The other issue is that in Cosmic Session, I can't use OBS Studio to record my screen. It doesn't have the screen recording option and the previously added screen recording scene from X11 is just a black screen. I saw people were able to solve it by installing Pipewire Pause package. And when I checked my system, this package had already been installed with the latest version. So this is another work Cosmic needs to do. Then I tried running some games on Cosmic DE. F122, Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legion, and the Callisto Protocol. They were running properly in the default GNOME environment coming with the Pop! OS NVIDIA version, because I was using them to do benchmark comparison in my last video. But none of them is running with the same setup in Lutris on Cosmic. Nothing will happen after clicking on the play button for all these games. Only the button text changed to stop and back to play again after several seconds. The logs show nothing helpful to indicate why these games are not running. After hitting the walls on my desktop, I decided to try it on my laptop because I remember that the presentation also mentioned Cosmic has already supported multiple GPU systems. I was running another distribution on my laptop before recording this video. So it is a fresh Pop! OS installation with latest system update before installing Cosmic. There was no blocker throughout the process. The first difference I noticed is that on my desktop, a black bar at the bottom of the screen outside the app launcher shows up, but it is not on my laptop. I installed OBS on my laptop and still didn't see the option to record the screen. I also tried Vivaldi Browser from Flatpak and it worked well. 
which is either because of the clean pop os installation on my laptop versus some existing dirty package dependencies on my daily driving pop os on my desktop or there is still some VLAN support for the single NVIDIA GPU system not being introduced to Cosmic DE Alpha version yet. Then I tried running the same set of games on the laptop. They did work on this dual GPU system with Lutris. And I can see the games are using NVIDIA GPU. So to make sure that I'm also testing a clean system on my desktop with Cosmic, I did a Pop! OS refresh installation and set up the DE for the third time. And this time, I checked all the issues I found after enabling GNOME Wayland session before installing Cosmic package. The Anno external monitor was still showing up in Wayland GNOME, but not in X11. Vivaldi browser is not bugging out in GNOME Wayland, and OBS Studio is able to do the screen recording inside Wayland. After installing Cosmic, I saw the bottom black bar was still there, but became a dynamic bar depending on if there is a running app. OBS Studio still couldn't do screen recording, and Vivaldi browser still had that display issue. On gaming side, with Lutris, all the games are still not launching. I also tried Bottles and Heroic Launcher. Launching games in them will cause black screen, which hands the system and breaks the Cosmic DE. Cosmic will always go into black screen with system reboot after that. It will only work after a proper system shutdown. I tried these launchers inside WLAN GNOME and all of them worked without crashing. Which means there is still some gap between Cosmic and other WLAN desktops for single NVIDIA system. The final verdict is the current Alpha Cosmic desktop works better on dual GPU system for gaming and some flat pack applications because there's no crash or display issue. Supporting screen recording in OBS Studio and the pure NVIDIA GPU system is still behind other VLAN desktops. For now, I still suggest using the X11 GNOME provided by Pop! OS as daily driver if you have a single NVIDIA GPU. It's a shame that I wasn't able to properly benchmark any of the games in this video. I'm still hoping we can soon be able to use the Shiny Cosmic in this year's Pop! OS release as the default because I really like the fresh look it brings to the table. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And please let me know if I miss anything in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.